Hello and welcome to Lord Lucan. In today's episode, we'll be back to the life of the lock-up episode, Busted and Disgusted. We'll see Chance being a petulant teenager. Y'all are disturbing the peace. No, I'm the peace. There'll be more reasonable discussion with Dirty D. And Abby has a little giggle. As always, massive love to the beautiful people who have subscribed and a special loveliness to the lords and ladies of Lucan Manor. Don't forget, you too could be one of the VIP lords and ladies for a whopping 99p a month and get exclusive access to our members only videos. Right then, if you're drinking coffee, put it down and clear the splash zone. We're going in. When we left off, Tyler and Chance were setting fire to their dumpster and it was tears before bedtime. I'm not wiping my face with toilet paper. Yeah, that napkin's totally different. That's kind of a metaphor for their relationship. Instead of having something which is good for the purpose, she chooses something which is going to dry her out and leave a red mark. All a napkin is good for is soaking up alcohol, which is pretty similar to Chance. My friends are forever. What? And those kids and Tyler aren't? There's something wrong with a man. Actually, no, no, he's not a man. He's just a penis attached to a mouth and a series of lies. But anyway, there's something wrong with a thing that thinks relationships are disposable. She's not actually asking for control. She's asking for honesty, loyalty, and a bit of compassion. There are many men who have left prison and are able to conduct their relationships with these things. If he didn't actually act the way he did, then Taylor wouldn't be doing the things that she does to make him feel monitored. But then Chance displays the stages of his passive aggressive strategy. Stage one, get angry and blame other people. Are these all for me? Cause I'll drink every in one of them. Stage two, play the I'm the self-destructive victim. Stage three, introduce a countdown to destruction to push people that love him into action. They're all doubles. Time you better drink one. Then Chance slips into petulant teenager mode. You try to control so much of my life. Oh, that is so unfair, I hate you! Okay, so here's the list then. Kevin and Chance go large. What does she do? What I can watch. Okay, so first thing he thought of was what he watched. Okay, well, well he's not allowed to watch his programs. It's what I can call. Oh, so who's he been following on social media? Let's have a look. Well, the only hashtag he follows is girl fights, but he does follow Brad Pitt. Hang on a second. Didn't he once say he was Brad Pitt's brother or something? Well, here's another question. What happens when you cross Brad Pitt and Zach Braff? Well, you get Doug Pitt, Brad Pitt's brother. But is he Brad's only brother? And what are the chances of chance being related? Zero. Brad has two siblings, Julie and Douglas. And even if you follow the Pitt name back to 1770, there has only ever been one child born to each couple, and the name never deviates from a single son. Although, he is actually Angelina Jolie's 21st cousin, and Prince William's 12th cousin. How? Well, it's complicated, but it goes back to the lineage of King John, who pooped himself to death. Where were we? Oh yeah, chances no dodgy follows on his IG. Presumably because Tyler has sanitized it. Who I can talk to. Okay, yes, but if you didn't hide who you talk to, it wouldn't be an issue. Where I can go. Well, she wants to stop controlling you into those casinos and bars to spunk your money up the wall then. But in the middle of his run, Chance's girlfriend calms him down. Honey, stop. Ah, I, I mean, friend. Yes, his friend calms him down. You are taking it way too far. All right. I'll stop. Good job he listened to his girlfriend, and not that woman who's carrying his baby, meant to be marrying him and living with him, because that might raise an eyebrow. But it's all fine because she helps him to the toilet. You're gonna make her hella jealous. <laughs> Hope she's not helping him with the hose to his pressure washer. Anywho, let's find the door to the exit and see where Dirty Derek is burying his doggy bone this time. Why are you texting Derek pictures? Because I'm a club promoter. Ah, club promoter. A bit like Stacey Stacks, the one whose film Dirty D is in. Yeah, it'll be fine. So the ladies enter in some reasonable discussion. But Dirty D always manages to give the people filming the Vox a lip. Of course, Dirty D, just talking. Wow, that mouth of yours has gone dry. 
Mmm, all that truth is really dehydrating, huh? But Slowbo kicks him out. <laughs> And we head over to Ohio, but I'm totally not going to make any fun of this point. It's a moment which should have been done privately and without exploiting a little girl for TV. She's somewhere between laughing and crying, and it's a complicated thing for a child to handle. So here's her laughing. <laughs> and of course, Aubergine Head takes a sensitive and touching moment and makes it all about himself. I want her to accept me as much as I'm accepting her right now. What? You accept her, you fucking shit eating cock face self absorbed piece of shit motherfucking up wipe shit head. You helped create her willingly. That means you had acceptance included in the arrangement. Accept her, you fucking dick munching cock faced little knob jockey. <laughs> Uh, do, do excuse my French. I breathe for the love of my children and I just can't stand his attitude. Right then, this fool is giving me ear chlamydia. Let's go and see what OG Muffins and Aris are up to. And Cam has made a t-shirt with a sonogram on it. Can I have a t-shirt? Absolutely not. No, that's Why not do fair. you always want to be me? Of course not. It's a spotlight on Cam moment, you know. Haven't you learned anything from the men on this show? It's all about them. Babies, them. Marriage, them. Arguing them. Keep up. They about to kill me. Well, we live in hope. You know, my sister's kind of like... Left on a bad note. Yeah, and this is from a man who knows all about bad notes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But OG Grouch tells Aris there's still a little bad feeling since she didn't come to the reunion. Did you tell him I was sick, or...? I, I told him that you didn't want to come. This is another consistent thing with the couples on this show. They bleed negativity to the wider family, then wonder why people have a problem with it. Both sides have trouble remaining loyal to their partners in exchange for sympathy and ire. That's healthy behavior. So, meanwhile, over at Amber and Bill Burr's house. Oh, what's, what's that? It, it, it's, it, 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 got wood? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Amber's had enough, so she calls B.O. Baracus and the rest of the B team to help her move. I just came home today to the This is my final straw, I'm done. And the crew give Queenie a camera and trust her to film the next bit. I just wanted you to call me sweet, tell me how much you love me, how this sucks. Yeah, good job, Queenie. <laughs> you only had one job, but the editor had enough of them too, and we skipped the light fandango to catch the rest of the Tyler saga. And after security stopped him from driving away, Chance returns to his usual strategy. Number one, blame everyone else. First of all, this I'm not so disturbing the peace. Y'all yeah, are. Yeah. Number two, you're the problem, not me. Y'all are disturbing the peace. No, I'm the peace. Think? I am the law. Piece of what exactly? Well, I can think of a few things. And the third step, of course, sympathy and victim card. I'm not hey, going to be piled up on hey. against my friends. But Chance's girlfriend plays the game and gives him the sympathy and swipes his victim card, which is probably the only card he hasn't been declined recently. Baby, do you want to run? I have been Is asked. that what you want? You want to run? While he's doing this with his girlfriend, Tyler is beginning to boil. Because you're being ignorant and me and you're letting her touch all over you. You're being This is a long time coming, but even when she's given it both barrels, she still finds the dignity to treat Tanya with some respect. I'm sorry, I don't know you. Please stop touching him. You're making me I'm uncomfortable. Sorry. But hopefully this explosion will set Tyler free. I don't give a damn how you feel. Neither do we, Chance. Neither do we. But don't you hate it when you try and slam the door and it doesn't quite go right, so you have to do it again? Well, I wonder where Chance will be going tonight. I guess it begins with a T and ends in Anya's house. Well then, mon petit pois, that appears to be the end of the episode of La Lu and the end of this little recap. Don't forget to come join us for the live stream on Monday and I've got other little secret somethings up my sleeve for this week. So until then, so until next time, my beautiful people, stay beautiful, love to my three, and you take care of yourself. <laughs>